What's up everybody? I'm Andre and this is Edible Knowledge, helping you uncover the what's what of everyday food from around the world. So today, we're talking about rhubarb. Experts say that it originates in China, in cold climate areas like the Himalayas, Siberia, and Mongolia. It was originally used for medicinal purposes by the Chinese and ancient Romans. Nowadays, however, you can find it in savory dishes. But due to its sour, tart, and bitter taste, it also partners really well with sugar in cakes and pies, which is probably why some people call it a dessert vegetable. There are many different types of rhubarb. For example, Canada Red, German Wine, Glaskin's Perpetual, no, I didn't make that up, and the Riverside Giant. Pretty, but poisonous. According to the National Geographic, the leaves contain high levels of oxaliac acid, the substance used in ink, stain remover, and nail polish. According to wellandgood.com, Vandana Sheath, who is a registered dietitian, suggests not partaking in this dessert vegetable if you have a history of developing kidney stones. Rhubarb is rich in calcium oxalate, a compound that in excess can contribute to kidney stones. The highest amount of the stuff is in the leaves. Did you know about 5,000 years ago, the Chinese used to use rhubarb as a laxative? On second thought, I'll pass on a second piece of that pie. In 1947, a New York court ruling officially named the rhubarb as a fruit in the US. Wait, we, we can do that now? January 23rd is National Rhubarb Pie Day, and June 9th is National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day. In just one cup of rhubarb, you will find 26 calories, one gram of protein, zero grams of fat, two grams of fiber, and six grams of carbs. Rhubarb is a great source of fiber. It promotes bone and heart health. It's rich in antioxidants and supports healthy skin. It can also help in inflammation and digestive issues. Okay, this is totally easy. When you go out to the supermarket looking for great rhubarb, this is what you need to look for. Vibrant color and firm, shiny stalks. Plain and simple. That's all there is for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been me, and I'll be back next time with more What's What on food from around the world. Bye.